Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're back, as we said we would. Friends. In times like these, the company of friends can be a lifesaver. I know for a fact that you've shared many laughs under this roof, like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it! But we're gathered here today, not to laugh, but to mourn the loss of our dearly departed housemate, Mr. Samuel Goose, who died after a short holiday to Italy. We don't know what it is that killed him. Maybe it was the change of air, maybe it was something else entirely, but for whatever reason, we are here and he is not. Samuel was a great friend, an excellent musician, and in fact he could, some people say that you could shatter glasses when you sing, but his bottom A by Bob could clean them. He could actually match the resonant frequency of the dirt on glassware and sing at it until it vibrated off. All you need to do then was to shake it out Give it a quick rinse, and there you are. Ever since he, he's gone, we've, we've actually had to physically negotiate the dirt out of our dishes. Do you remember when we had to sit down and talk it out with him? Do you remember? Do you remember the, tweet, the Treaty of Waitrose, where we actually let them sit on a fort much like this one? He's gone. We miss your piano, Sam. We miss the albums we made together. We miss... We miss your instinctive chord progressions, the incredible beatbox solos, and the incisive lyrics we wrote on the nature of death and Heinz chicken soup. We love you, man. And wherever you are, we miss you. This poem's for you, it's called Midlife Crisis. It could be love, it could be lust, it could be anything we make it. It could be your dad. Trousers down, screaming to the sky about bombs and tax and the low cost of suicide on the roof of his brand new Audi. May the blessings of Bob be with you all. Thanks.